In this video, we're going to take your two-dimensional drawing and we're going to give it some volume so that we can print this stuff out. So I have this little object. I don't know, it's a weird kind of a moon thing. Uh, what I want to do is I want to bring kind of the main moon part all the way out. I'm going to have these little spots kind of like halfway in if that's something that you're doing for your project. And I'm going to have this be that little keychain hole. So the first thing you need to do, because I'm assuming your project is more than just some cheap little circles, is we need to select your entire object and we want to join it together. So we're going to create essentially these polylines so that our AutoCAD software will, will be able to pull full volumes out instead of just little lines. Uh, so now that we have things polylined, you'll see that we've got uh, obviously the big old circle and we have the individual circles that we can deal with. Next, to activate the 3D space, we're actually going to go down to our workspace settings. And uh, mine is set as drafting and annotation right now. I'm actually going to switch over to 3D modeling. This is going to take a hot sec. Notice how our top toolbar changed a little bit. We still have a lot of our drawing and modification stuff that we've done before. But now we have extrude and some solid editing. So to make my life a little bit easier, I'm actually going to go over here to my uh, little view screen. I'm going to click on the house, and that will take us into ISO mode. So that way I can see um, how everything's going to be extruded out. So um, to do this in 2D, I'm going to go up to press pull. And I'm going to click on the object that I want to press pull. And I can go up and I can go down. doesn't really matter which way you go. I'm going to go up just for uh, clarity's sake. And if you are indenting some of your work, you can decide what you want that size to actually be. So I want it to be halfway. So I'm going to go 0 0.125, hit enter, and it will extrude that out 0 0.125. So I'll do the same thing over here, uh, 0 0.125. You kind of get the idea. Uh, 0 0.125, all right, 0 0.125. And then let's do this guy, 0 0.125. I want to make sure it goes up. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, control Z, go back, go back. What the heck? Shoot, let's try this again. One, two, five. Going up, point one, two, five. I probably hit uh, one point two five instead. All right, point one two five. And type in point one two five. Okay, so we have the uh, the part that I kind of want indented. Now I'm going to pull out the uh, the full quarter inch piece. So I'm going to have the rest of my moon or whatever shape this is, uh, is going to come out 0.25. So now my moon piece should be fully extruded. We should have kind of half extrusions for the little dots. And I'm hoping this actually goes all the way through. I didn't do any press pull for that stuff. Now, it's kind of hard to see in this wireframe mode right here. So I'm going to go up here to 2D wireframe. Uh, let me hit escape to get rid of my press pull. 2D wireframe. And I'm going to go shaded with edges. Okay. Actually, this is looking pretty good. So then I can... Whoops kind of rotate around. I can use this to kind of drag um, and see what's going on. Whoops. Um, or if I hit shift and hold my mouse wheel, I can kind of rotate around. And I notice my hole's going all the way through, kind of that keychain hole, which is perfect. I have like a half extrusion going on and a full extrusion going on over here, uh, which means we are good to go. So then our next step is going to be how do we export this as an STL file so we can throw it into the printer.